Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl Lex in the box, and on this episode, I hung out with my homeboy Ahmad from Ahmad J Photography. Hey, this is my boy. He is known around the Metroplex. All right, little baby, he got you. Made the stallion. Oh, he got you. All right, so stay tuned and keep it locked because he is releasing some gems, dropping some information on some new projects he's working on. All right, so keep it locked. It's your girl Lex in the box. L -l -l Lex in the box. You never know what to expect. Photography, ooh, that's me, I like to use my camera. Music is fire too, so I match the BPM mood. Cause DJing is what I choose. Hey, keep going, I'll never lose. Strike a pose, chin down, show that neck, girl. That's what Tyra Banks taught me, A N T M. I dibble, I dabble, from modeling to hosting. I'ma go again and say it again. Lex in the box. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl Lex in the box, and I am here with none other than my homeboy, Amai, the photographer hey. who is everywhere at all times, my friend. How you doing? I'm great. Okay, you know you right here, right now. Yeah. But you're also at prom and at uh, the nines and <laughs> trappiest, and you're also at OT Tavern right now. You're at so many places at once. Oh my goodness. So before I even get there, what all do you do besides photography? Oh man. <laughs> Everything besides photography, man. I do a lot. Mm -hmm. I do clothing design, uh, full-time father as well too. Okay, come on. Um, let's see, I do, I like to bartend as well too on part-time. Yeah. You didn't oh. tell me that. Oh yeah. I like to bartend. I've been bartending for like five years. I be doing a lot. Oh, yeah, shit. But my main priority focus is the photography. Okay. And then I like to direct too. I do a lot. So Dang. I don't put no limit on, on myself. Okay. So, okay. Let's go with the photography thing for right now. Okay. So you're also a creative director. Yep. Dang. So where do these concepts come from in your photography? Because you have really 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 a really good eye especially there's this one photo we can show a pic of it um where it's like a model and then y'all spray painted a hand oh yeah and that's, then, my that's my baby that's I my baby i love that one it's black and white yeah, you have a thing for black picture. and white don't you yeah that's my thing that's my tell thing. us a little bit about that photo uh that photo man or those photos that those around. photos uh it came about i linked up with the mother of my child's sister, mm -hmm. she actually came up with that because uh, mm -hmm. she like American Horror Story. Yeah, and we kind of like put our ideas together on how we can make it happen. And she told me about the shoot, and we made it happen in like less than like 24 hours. And then I spray painted my one of my friend's hand. His hand was kind of like rough looking. <laughs> <laughs> don't put, don't even tell his name because you don't put him on <laughs> So I was like, man, yo, you got the perfect hand. So I just kept it like that, all raw, natural, and just kept it looking rough. And then it just went perfect. And then I don't know, I just fell in love with the picture. I just knew that always was just it. And that that, that picture actually made me like motivated, and it really kind of set me apart from just taking pictures mm -hmm. to now creating art. So that's when that's when I really was like, man. I'm about to just create art, not just taking mm -hmm. pictures. I think that's what a lot of photographers forget about too. It is an art. It's not just going out and come on, let's take some pictures, y'all. Yep. It's like actually a thought process and a blueprint before you even get out there and start shooting. So I think oh, yeah, that's dope sure. as well. Now, would you say you dabble in videography as well? Of course. Okay. Of course. I'm more on the director's end. Okay. But if I need to, need to get my hands dirty and just record and edit, I will. But I got, I come with like a team and I just really direct and manage manage them make sure they get everything right but I definitely definitely love videography okay sweet now let's rewind right before before fatherhood I don't know if this is before photography or what but when did you pick up a camera and what was your personal your personality like back in school because I feel like you were one of the class clowns you know <laughs> cracking jokes and stuff so and then the popular one too yeah so let me know how that was man <laughs> I was a mess in school. I'm not even gonna lie. People knew me. 
they will understand and that's why I feel like I got a lot of like people like a lot of support because the ones that do know me and went to school and they know like I was the class clown I was getting in trouble all the time but I always was a mastermind behind everything like I used to get I used to get in trouble purposely so that I can isolate myself from school but I always had good grades like I used to put myself in ISS literally on purpose just so I can have good grades I was the top 10 percent in my class but I was probably like the top five worst student in what? school I know so it. how did you even how did I'm confused you said top 10 percent yeah I was how top 10%. when you was in ISS you weren't getting that lesson I promise you I, I tell myself <laughs> I promise you I can pull up my grades I had nine nothing but nine like 95s and above my whole senior year Ooh. and then before beforehand and from freshman on here in Dallas yeah I went to, I graduated from Urban MacArthur okay right here in the hood right here damn dub yeah. right here in my area Okay, sweet. Now, when did you pick up the camera? I picked up the camera when I was in high school, uh -huh. but for like for like yearbook. But uh, I could stay in trouble so much, and I couldn't. You couldn't. couldn't you couldn't. You couldn't participate in yearbook, so it just wasn't going for. It. But they loved the pictures that I used to capture because it was like I always candid moments. It looked, you know, I went creeping on people, but I was just like that kid that just always caught the, the good candy. moments. The candid. Yeah, the candid, the great moments. So. Yeah, but if I was if I was just, if I was good in school and real good in school, they would they would I would for sure for sure like learn the easy. I would have been probably far more advanced than I am now if I would have just stayed good. Sure. If I had good behavior, but yeah, I picked it up in high school, um, mm -hmm. and then after high school, I just fell off a little bit, and then I picked it back up in 2016. That's um, recent. That was yesterday. Right, I know. <laughs> picked it up in 2016. Um, had a, just I always had a good eye, like I said, for for pictures. Uh, didn't know a lot about editing, editing though, but um, picked it up and then yeah, it just was like that. But I didn't really just take out with it till I found out that I was having a kid on the way, and that's what really motivated me mm. to teach myself. And then I was I went to college for like three months. I couldn't just couldn't. Couldn't do it. I was just like, nah. This ain't it. YouTube this ain't University, it. like everybody else, <laughs> that is the number one key thing to do. I would, if you have a crap, I just think you should just teach yourself. Right. That's right. just my opinion. And you're really successful with this thing. I mean, do you have a team that helps you or no? No, I don't. It's all you. It's all me. So all the travel, all the images you capture, even your edits, that's all you. All me. What? All me. Dang, I can't even believe that. I'm like, sure, I need to get on my job. Oh uh, yeah, it's all about having that hustle. Everything is not about it's the talent. The talent, the talent is there. Like I said, the talent is always gonna be there. Like it's in you. If it's in you, it's in you. But the number one key thing is to work it. You got to work it. Like, you, like how I just think. If I'm taking pictures and I'm taking these pictures and if I'm receiving money out for these people, just even if I'm not, I'm as soon as I get to get home or if I have my laptop on hand, I'm gonna already work on them already because it just leave a good first impression every time. Yes, so yes, you're right. like people like the good turn around. It's back. all about keeping keeping them coming back. Always mm -hmm. about keeping them coming <laughs> back. Keep them coming back. Oh man, you you good forever. And that's, nice. That's okay. my success right now. No, there. for real. What's your inspiration? And kind of get you don't have to get into too much. Of specifics but just a little bit what's your motivation is it something that you would see on TV if you're walking down the street like dang that building is dope I gotta shoot in front of that uh help me out uh I don't know it just come it just kind of come to me like if I if, like like it's just not it's just like one of the things I gotta kind of catch a vibe like if the vibe right mm -hmm. then I, I'm with it like if like I, I only shoot like if it's if it's a good vibe when I have a good vibe with people I'm like, okay, cool, I can work with you. I can make a scene even just even being in this room, like being wherever, like it don't matter where we're at. We could be in the bathroom, we be in a hotel. I can create that moment, not just, it don't have to be just on a backdrop. It don't have to be just in a nice looking setting. I just know just catch a vibe. And if I feel like the vibe good and the pictures look right, then I go with it. That's, okay. that's just what I go with. Is your, uh, I guess your MO or the thing that you go by is work with everyone because you're very, you're, you're, you're very outgoing. You're an extrovert. So is your thing is work with everybody or is it a certain vibe that you catch certain, to know it's who a, to work it's with? A, it's, a, it's a certain vibe. It's a, it's very, it's a certain vibe. Like a lot of, a lot of the people that I, that I work with, mm -hmm. um, I, I work with them like after like 
after we connected. Like it, it wasn't like, oh, I'm finna take pictures of you and then we vibing now. It's more so like I actually built a relationship with them yeah. and I felt like they was cool and I felt like, you know, they you know, they wasn't trying to get out. It's gotta be genuine. Anything that you do, it's gotta be genuine. It's mm -hmm. not about um, like, you know, trying to just get this person, that person, that yeah. person. You kinda gotta, you kinda gotta fill them out. But you kind of gotta feel me. You can't give them everything. Right, you right. can't give them your yeah, all your good stuff. Go. You gotta just if you. I don't know. It's just everything is about just good energy. Like I don't, I don't know. It's just it's it's hard to explain. You just kind of gotta just feel it. That's how I go go mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. Y'all gotta feel it. Come on, inspiration, motivation. I'm gonna ask you what I've asked my other people. What's on your playlist right now? Playlist. Mm -hmm. Local artists. Um. I'm rocking with any local artist in Dallas that has good music that I can vibe to. Like, I'm rocking with Cash Page. I'm rocking okay. with Enchanting. Uh, I'm rocking with Trey Ward. I like R&B music. I don't really okay. rap, rap music. I like it, uh -huh. but if I, I just like rappers in Dallas. I, I kind of I mess with them, but I, I like. I mean, I don't know. I like R&B music. Okay. I like R&B music. Okay. Whew. Now this right here is about to be really fun because you have made it so apparent on your Instagram that you're all about respect the photographer, and I think I was on board with that one too. Because sometimes I'm like, damn, tag, you know, tag your girl. Tag a nigga. You know what Lord. I'm saying? Tag a nigga. Oh, yeah, like, sure. damn, like, can a bitch get a tag? Like, oh, yeah, real sure. talk, because. I was out there on the damn concrete trying to get the best angle for you, okay? Oh, yeah, and you sure. got the nerve to post this picture, get a thousand likes, and you want to push your girl. For sure. So tell me where that came from. Was it personal experiences, experiences from friends? What was that moment where you was like, uh-uh, respect the photographer? Uh, man, actually, when I first picked up the camera, like, um, I, I had, I was at an event. Uh, mm -hmm. I was working for, I was work, I was working on a DJ, okay. and. He just was just trying to just, he was just trying to hold me. Like, he just was just like, do this, do that. And I'm like, bro, I'm not oh, your servant. Not, I'm like, bro. I'm not your servant. And then I kind of just, like, from that moment, like, uh, he, he was actually trying to, like, you know, make the focus out on him. I'm like, bro, who are you? Like, right, you know what I mean? Right. Like, I don't care what it is, like, 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 what you got going or whatever. Like, you can't, like, a lot of people try to feel like they can put you in position. Yeah. But really, it's yourself. So, I had an opportunity. I took pictures of the artist uh, Lil Baby, and, mm -hmm. uh, and he was in, in town in Dallas. Mm -hmm. And the DJ wanted me to um, take pictures of him, Mo take more so pictures of the DJ versus Lil Baby. He was kind of like shut, like oh, like overshadowing, like my just trying to just kind of like steer me away from doing doing that. And I'm mm -hmm. like, bro, I got you, but I'm gonna get me too. No, so really? he wanted me to only focus on him. So from that moment, I was just like, man, I'm nobody's cameraman, I'm nobody's bitch. I'm not about to just take pictures uh i'm gonna take pictures i want to take pictures of yes. like especially if like at that time at the time i wasn't getting paid anyway because i was just fresh started i didn't have no name and right i just at that time i kind of was just naive i was just like man yeah boom i'm gonna be around live baby but like now i know like when i get around celebrities i've been around a-list celebrities i've been around every type of celebrity now i just be just chilling like i like it's nothing like it's just, Take take their pictures, cool. They 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 get them, they get them, they like them, they like them. They don't. It is what it is. But mm -hmm. like I don't know. From that moment, though, it just sparked some memory. I was just like, man, look, I need people to just respect who I am and mm -hmm. not just categorize me as with anybody else that doing the same thing that I'm doing. Like no 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 like shade towards anybody that that's in my field because mm -hmm. a lot of people like I I feel like our art is great like our artists are, are great it don't matter yeah. it don't matter I don't care about the quality how they work look if they feel like they got a good picture that's them that's their that's art but mm -hmm. um, me personally though I just like to separate myself and just make it known that I'm him and that's them over there don't right. don't categorize me with, with them people at all so right. I mean I just from that moment, like I just was just like, man, look, I want to be respected. It's mm -hmm. all about respect. Like I really just want my respect, and I just want people to realize, like, it's not just all about the artists and you know, like, cause mm -hmm. that's the people' main focus. They always think what about what is what is respect to you. What do you expect when you shoot a person? What's respect to you? Uh, I I just rather them. I just rather them just you know, it, you know, just say I oh, like a good. Oh, thank you for capturing mm -hmm. my moments, boom. Uh, if they got a good, bigger platform than I have, you know, 
you know, like you said, like tag, tag, a nigga. tag. like you know what I'm saying, <laughs> like because you got somewhere because somebody tagged you consecutively. So if no, you tag me, I'm gonna get on that same level. I'm not trying to get off on you. I'm not trying to come up off of you. Mm -hmm. It's just if you the, the the levels that you reach, the high levels you reach, I'm trying to reach them high levels too. I'm trying sure. to get to that point that you that that you at too. So that's okay. where I come in with. Okay, what's one of your biggest pet peeves uh, in the photography game, as far as dealing with clients and models that you shoot? Uh, people try to tell me how to take pictures. Yeah, you know, especially when they paying me to take them. Like, like it's just one of the things. It's a sticky where, situation, yeah, it's right? Just like, it's just like this is what you hired me for. I got it. Like you know what I mean? And like I don't have an issue all the time, but. It be like it's that, and when they ask and form the same day, like I don't like that. But not like JC Penney's, you know what I'm saying? I will get you your pictures out. I will get you your pictures out when I get them out. Like I'm not no, like I said, like I said just recently, I'm gonna get them out because I just like to bring back the clientele. Mm -hmm. But when I'm feel like I'm rushed. I don't like, like, I don't like cause I, don't I, like I, I I can't create Thank like you. I can't create I can't feel like that I'm doing me I feel like I'm just working strictly for you like I'm working for the person because the the clients are always they the boss because mm -hmm. they pay me they pay me my bills but I just still like to have that creative space to where I like okay boom they trust me into getting their work but okay. it, a lot of that come from a lot of people doing bad business but that's another thing yeah that's a whole nother topic because yep. lord knows we don't yep. know about that bad business yep. okay all right sweet now i want to get into a game with you real quick it's this or that all right and you got to tell me why you chose that particular thing or person and why all right okay. all right now here's my game here we go here's the first one you ready mm -hmm. would you rather shoot in the studio or outside um. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna be honest, and I'm gonna be completely honest. I rather shoot in the studio. I can shoot anywhere, but I'm more comfortable shooting in the studio because that's where I'm a master there. I'm not fully like like I fully don't have outside just master the way I want to, mm -hmm. like how I need to be. So I rather shoot in the studio because I just I don't know like, my best pictures come from in the studio. I got good outside pictures, but they're not great outside mm -hmm. pictures. They like I know I could do better. Mm -hmm. Like they mm -hmm. they look good, but I just know I could do better. Right, right, right. So, but nah, studio's your master. Studio, my master. Okay, master, okay. Hands down. All right, my girl Tyra Banks or Nicole Kemp, uh, Naomi Kemp. I'm talking about Nicole. Who's Nicole? <laughs> Which one I would rather shoot or what? That's what I'm gonna go with Tyra Banks. Thank you, the queen. Hello. I'm gonna go with Tyra Banks. No shade. Naomi <laughs> Campbell is the queen, and she is. She is the queen as well. She's she's she's, queen she's, a, she's an icon. Um, but I'm gonna go with Tyra Banks. Go okay, with Tyra Banks. tell me why. Tyra Banks just got that just energy, her smile. Yes. It's just her smile really just getting mm -hmm. just just gets it. I like. Naomi Campbell, she just gave me one of those. You know how you, it's just like walking in a room, like, and you just like, Beyonce, it just gives you that stuff. Still. Oh. It's just still, like, yeah. Like, oh my yeah, God. no like, personality. I get, you know, I'm like, like nervous. Right. I don't know. Should I, how should I? Because you don't exactly. know how to react, right? Exactly. Tyra makes man. you feel open it's, and welcome. Exactly. Meanwhile, Beyonce, you don't know her personality. Yep. So it's kind of like, yeah. okay. Yeah, I totally understand that. Speaking of Beyonce, Beyonce or Rihanna? <laughs> Rihanna. Rihanna. I'm going with Rihanna. Rihanna. I'm going with Rihanna. I like it's just because of the same That's situation, different. but it's the same situation. But mm -hmm. I can't wait to, I can't definitely can't wait to work with Beyonce. <laughs> for sure, for sure. That's not a um, that's not a dream. That's just going to happen. Oh yeah, there you go. Nah, Speak, we speaking into uh, existence because the more you speak it into existence, it's law of attraction. Of you know, of course, of course. And I believe that. I truly do. All right, Nicki Minaj, of course, or Cardi B. Cardi B, Cardi B, the raw, natural. I like like how she is. I like Nicki though. I like Nicki energy and her facial expression. I like just just everything that she come with her energy too. I just like that raw, natural. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can just kick it with Cardi and mm -hmm. just talk to her as a friend. Same way with Nicki. Nicki probably really is like that. She's just got this persona and this image right. that, that makes her look like artificial. Yep, yep. I, I, I would say Cardi though. Okay, okay. And this is my last one. Uh, Cash Doll or Meg the 
I like them both. I'm not gonna I like lie. Them both. That I was love a good one. That's a good one. They actually they can do a song together. Hey, they, they really they, they do, do a song together. They, they, yeah, they like anyway. they like the same. Um, <laughs> um yeah, I'm gonna go with Meg. I'm gonna go with Meg. Meg. Meg I, I like a background story. I just like where she came coming from. I right. like what she what she got going. She in school, finishing up school, and she's still being an artist. And yes, then you know. She putting on for her city and for her mom uh, that passed away. She doing yeah. she doing her thing, yeah. so I'm gonna go with Meg. Okay, look, look. Now before we get out of here, go ahead and tell the people um, who want to get into photography, who have not even started yet, but probably are just attending YouTube University right now. Okay, what advice do you have for them? Shoot every day. Okay. Oh, uh, that's. The one big thing, shoot every day, actually fall in love with the craft, uh, uh, figure out what what's your niche, um, follow, follow, like, follow, shout out a couple of photographers that's, that, that you look up to, uh, that they look up to, um, and see they mistakes, because everybody have them, uh, and just, you know, ask, ask questions, ask a million questions and shoot. If they don't give it to them, keep on asking. They gonna, you know, and if not, like you always got YouTube, you know, uh, kind of like just, just kind of just get into the habits of those. I wouldn't just buy a camera and just, just shoot and just test it out. I would just, I, I, before I, like, when I bought my camera, I didn't open my camera until I took, like, a lot of notes about, uh, about photography and stuff like that. Like I said, I knew it because of your book, but that was like, I didn't even really get into it like that. But mm -hmm. when I did buy my camera, I just, I took notes and I wrote it down. And every time you write it down, you're going to achieve what you want to, you're going to learn it and you're going to really fall in love with it. That's why yeah. you got to write it down, y'all. Write down these goals. Oh yeah, definitely mm -hmm. got to write down the goals. Yes. But yeah, that's what I, I say. Just really fall in love with the craft, fall in love with anything that you do. Okay, sounds like a plan. Fall in love, y'all, but not in a hopeless place. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and tell us where we can find you on social media. If you got a website, let us know. How can we book sure. you for our events, gigs? Uh, images by my J uh, on, on Instagram. Really on every on every uh, social site, even Facebook. Uh, and then my link is always in my bio. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, website is under construction. It's almost complete. Hey. It's gonna be more so a, a art gallery, not just so much a booking a booking site. It's gonna be art gallery, so they can get prints, mainly prints, because that's what I'm pushing. Thanks. Yes, yes. And we would love to have prints. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much for coming. Oh yeah, no Thank problem. You. Thank you. Thank for you. Having I appreciate me. it. I think it's so cool just to see your point of view on things, meaning that you're always behind the camera, right, and not in front of it. So hey. A new perspective for you, all right? It's Lex in the Box. This is my boy Ahmad. Hey, we just finished a dope interview in the box, all right? Keep it locked. Stay tuned.